CFX Press Type B is quickly becoming the standard for new photo and video cameras. We're talking to Roman Rabic, the CEO and founder of Angelbird. This is a Synity Gear News video, supported by B&H and CVP. Welcome everybody, we're here at IBC 2023 with Roman from Angelbird. How are you? I'm very well, how are you? Well, very well indeed. We, I'm already losing my voice on the first day of the show, that never a good sign. So, um, But yeah, that tells me it has been a busy day. But we're sitting here today to just have a little update chat of, you know, where the camera and memory card industry is going, I would say. Um, and I, I think we see, I mean, we have two new cameras now, I think, which actually, or three actually, that have the CF Express Type B standard that you guys have been supporting for a long time, actually. Where do you see things moving with, you know, new cameras? Is this the new de facto standard for cameras? Uh I, I don't have to say I believe, yes, definitely. So Type-B, CF Express, CF Express Type-B, that's the new standard. Uh, we, we, it's, it's a nice size, form factor. We get up to four terabyte in capacities, so you can really have also long duration uh, recordings. And uh, speed-wise, we're also there what, uh, uh, what the cameras nowadays can output. Uh, and I believe also for the next two years, we are very, very well set with this uh, technology. You think that there is also still potential to even have faster cards as cameras produce even higher resolution, bigger data rates, uh, raw footage, for example? Definitely. It always comes uh, uh, more resolution, uh, more speed is needed. Uh, automatically also files are getting bigger, uh, 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 which, which ends up in higher, higher capacity required. Um, but also the downside, more power is used and more temperature is generated. So it's... It's a mixture, but uh, definitely the current version what we have uh, in the market, Type B version 3, is the standard and uh, makes sense for all the cameras uh, for now and also for the next two to three years. Uh, generation 4 has been uh, announced by the CFA, by the Complex Flash Association just recently, but that's something which currently no user will uh, uh, need or can benefit out of it or from it. Uh, it will some be something where we should talk again in about three years. I for, for the next few cameras, I guess. Yeah, cameras uh, which will be updated for these high resolutions or uh, uh, new codecs. From my position and my, my standpoint, I say we have to wait another two to three years. Okay. So you guys actually have two different lines of CF Express type B cards. Maybe you can explain a little bit. I think SE and SX cards. Where's the difference? So we have uh, for the entry level, or we we call it entry level, uh, but it does not mean that it's 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 reduced in performance or in reduced in quality. Uh, we have the SE as a special edition and the SX, uh, which is also in the special edition, where we give the user a, a, a very attractive uh, price point per gigabyte, uh, where we currently updated these two uh, or these these two lines with with the one terabyte for the SE um, and with the 330 for the SX, where the SE is meant to be used for long video duration shooting and the SX is more for the uh, continuous shooting on still images. Okay, and you also have a, a, like a whole line which is red co-branded, right? What's special about those? Yeah, these are the MK2 lines lineup and the XT lineup, uh, which is the high capacity, so two terabyte and four terabyte, and 660 on the S uh, on the XT and 1.32 uh, for the XT, where it's again also here uh, long duration recording uh, and and high frame rate or high continuous shooting uh, still imaging. But I could use these, those red co-branded cards also on other cameras, right? Yes, definitely, of course. The technology is the same, uh, but we tailored uh, them very much to this high um, usage, uh, uh, high frame rate and... Um, how you say? High data rate. High data rate, yes, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> not, uh, not in even you, 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 you lose your voice, me too. Uh, high data rate uh, recording, yeah. you can use them also there. Okay. So um, you still you have them here, I think. Um, I mean, they they're, they're not new, but I'm sure you also have a lot in development that you probably 
cannot talk about? Uh, I don't want to talk about <laughs> yet. You know, uh, before when we started with the company, it was always you want to announce the stuff be before it's there. Uh, and then it was actually uh, upsetting ourselves also. And then to users, you communicate something and you are not there. Uh, nowadays, we, c we have it ready. And then we communicate. It's very funny. I had this same exact conversation today with Blackmagic Design because they burned their fingers as well in the past when they announced cameras that they couldn't ship. Yeah. And they're like, no, we've learned our lesson that we only announce and now the new camera is already shipping. So same thing. Yeah, we too. <laughs> so yes, of course, uh, we are in developing of, uh, of new products, which will be introduced later this year and by next year, of course. Um, but uh, there's nothing to talk about yet. Well, it was an interesting insight into where things are going. And yeah, thank you, Roman. We'll sit again probably at NAB. Most likely. Most likely. Mm -hmm. And thanks, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned to Synity for a lot more from IBC 2023. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks.